undoubtedly know her from Mrs. Doubtfire, Matilda, many other movies. She's now revealing, though, the ups and downs of childhood stardom in her new book, Where Am I Now? I was just thanking you because during my recovery, I couldn't put it down. Oh, no, thank it's, you. You're so frank and honest. Um, and the title, Where Am I Now? Why don't you tell us where that came from? Well, I think that it's it's sort of what I feel a lot of the time is like, what am I doing here? Uh, <laughs> what, what am I, you know, I shouldn't be here. The original title was K for Kid because when you are a child on a film set, they put a parenthesis K next to your name to indicate that you are a child and that you are kind of separate from everybody else. And I always felt a little like I was the odd one out. I was a kid, you know, in a uh, on, on sets full of adults. I yeah. was, you know, I was the only girl in a house full of boys for a long time. And I think that, uh, you know, if you've, you've seen a lot of things on the internet, you've seen a lot of it sort of like, where is she now? Where yeah. did she disappear to? I, your memories are, are so vivid. I, I can't believe that you can remember with such detail working with the greats like Robin Williams. Yeah. It really took me to those sets and gave me an idea of what it must be like to be a child actor. I just want to remind our viewers, uh, we've got a little clip of you and Robin in action. Take a oh, look. Oh, yeah. Look at that face. You remind me of Stuart Little, one of the most honorable creatures in all of literature. Do you know that book, Stuart Little? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Oh, mine too. We actually wrote that in because I was reading I was reading Charlotte's Web and Stuart Little at the time and so Robin and I talked about that and he he wrote that line into there. What was it like dealing with Robin and also dealing with Mrs. Doubtfire? Uh, <laughs> I I was a little nervous when I first saw him as Mrs. Doubtfire. I was a little a little nervous, but he actually sang uh, the first time he asked me like what kind of music I liked and being the drama nerd that I was, I said that I liked musicals and he said and he started singing There is nothing like a dame from South Pacific, so he was a man dressed as a woman singing a song about how there is nothing like a woman. Uh, that was That'll interesting. Do it. That was interesting, yeah, yeah. He was a great guy, so kind, so great with kids. And also Danny DeVito, co-star of yours in a classic, Matilda. Oh, I yeah. What was that like to play that part that so many girls I, just adore? Oh, I was so thrilled. I was so thrilled because that was a character that I loved, that I adored. My mother used to read it out loud at the local elementary schools. My brothers loved it. And she was like the first girl character that I was just like she is so cool and that is who she wants to that is who I want to be yeah and I did get to be her you did get to be her and Danny yeah. DeVito did something very nice just before you lost your mom he did he actually uh, we I thought that my mother had never gotten a chance to see the movie but he said he actually brought uh, a print of the movie to her while she was sick while she was dying they were incredibly kind people he and Andrea were just like fun uncle fun aunt and the kindest most wonderful people and I I really owe them forever for all the good things they did for me while my mother was sick. Well, I owe you for giving me a great read, and I, I, I asked you not only where the, where am I now, but where are you going, and you said you want to keep on writing. And I, I want to keep, keep on writing. keep on writing. Thank you so much. You've got a great yeah. voice and so much to tell. The book is fantastic. Thanks, Thank Mara. you. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. Everybody, the book is called Where Am I Now? Mara's right here with us. It Thanks. is out tomorrow, though. <laughs>